budget time. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to um, talk to you guys about establishing your day trading budget. Um, I know you're probably like, hey, Mr. V, why do I need a budget? I mean, I'm actually trading the market. Yes, believe me, you do need a budget as a day trader. If you want to dabble into this space, you have to be organized. And one of the ways to be organized as a day trader is to have a steady and consistent budget. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So um, I've been getting this question from people asking me a lot about how much to start day trading with and all that good stuff. So um, and the purpose of this video now is just going to give you an idea as to the way I approach it. Um, and I've, I've mentioned this on the channel several times. Um, approach day trading as a business. Don't just approach it as, um, oh, I'm just going to go put some money in the market and make some profit and then take that profit and do whatever. Um, approach it as this is a business. This is my livelihood. If you approach it with that mentality, you would succeed. But if you just go in there, it's like I'm just going to dabble in there. It's just like taking $20 to the casino. Like I don't care if I win or I lose. I just want to go out and have fun. So if that's the, if that's the case with you, then this video is not for you. But if you are on the side of I want to take this serious, I want to make a consistent profit, I want to make a consistent uh, income off of this, then you have to establish a budget. And so what's your day trading budget? So um, uh, in my situation, uh, I've established a budget that I, I use um, to day trade. So um, and it's a fixed amount. Um, again, you're hoping that that amount you keep making profit, so you're not losing. So I'll give you an example. So if my, if my budget is ten thousand dollars in my trading account, um, that is my base amount. So every month, that's what I start with. So I start trading with that amount. So if at the end of the month my account is up to fifteen thousand dollars, means I made five thousand dollars that month. And that's what I'm going to transfer from my trading account to my um, my checking account. So that's my income. So I made $5,000 and then I reset and I start with $10,000 all over again. So that way you know exactly what you're doing. You know this is a business. You have your initial investment, your initial capital, which is at $10,000. And so every month as soon as you trade, you make profit, you know that you, you have to reset and start again with $10,000 um, again. If you are looking to expand your account, you want to go from maybe 10,000, you want to start investing with 15. That's cool. The only thing you need to do is when, you, when your account gets to 15, and then you have to set that as your base. So if at the end of the month, your account is under, let's say $10,000, if you started with $10,000, then you, you don't get a paycheck. That month you're broke. You're not gonna make a paycheck because you didn't make any money. Actually, as a matter of fact, you lose money in the market so you don't get a paycheck. So I want you to have that mentality. I want you to have that approach because it would force you to be very consistent, force you to do your research, force you to understand um, your, in, your entry and your exit strategy for each trade so that way you don't lose money. And again, um, for me, like I said, if you start with $10,000 as your base, as your budget for investing, every month you reset that to 10,000. You, you, you have the possibility of growing that account to 10, 15, 20, 30, 40,000. If you want to do other investments, I would advise not to do it in your trading account. I do have um, on Weibo, I do have a margin account and a cash account. So my cash account is where um, you hear some of the IPOs that I talk about here on the channel, some um, reviews that I do here, but as far as stocks, I would buy those, uh, I can swing trade or hold long term in my cash account. But in my margin account, I don't hold long term. I trade it, I make profit. And I can take some of that profit, I can transfer it to my cash account and buy stocks long term. But the goal of my margin account is to day trade and to day trade only. I don't mess around with it. So I want you to have that consistency and it's going to help you. So um, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think about that strategy. Um, is this something that you're doing already or is it totally new to you um, as far as being able to establish a budget uh, for yourself? And again, if you're looking to get started with uh, investing, um, I highly recommend Weibo. 
And uh, I'm gonna put the links in the description below where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get a free stock. So definitely go check them out. And also, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, stay motivated. Uh -huh.